Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Shauna. I'm Madison. And I'm Skylar. And today we'll be making ice cream sandwiches. Woo! With homemade ice cream using our Chef in Sweet Spot Ice Cream Maker. For the sandwiches, we're going to use our handy dandy waffle maker and Ghirardelli because Ghirardelli is the best chocolate, of course. We're going to make some Ghirardelli brownies. I've already mixed up the brownie mix. Okay, so we're going to pour the brownie mix into the waffle iron. So we'll let the brownies cook in the waffle iron. Over. So that it will cook evenly. Before you actually pour the brownie mix into the waffle iron, you just wanna make sure that you spray it with ham or some type of cooking spray so that the brownie actually won't stick. And then of course, if you let the brownie cook a little bit longer so it's kind of crispy, it'll be easier to take it out. You guys smell the brownies cooking? Yeah, it smells good. I wonder why it's gonna turn out to be. Well, it's gonna look like a waffle, but it's gonna be a brownie. So you wanna make sure that you don't open the waffle iron prematurely. Of course, if you do that, then you'll end up with a brownie that's on both sides. So it's gonna be split and you'll have to make another brownie. So that's just not a waste of mix, but it will take you even longer to make your sandwiches. So our light has come on, saying that it's ready. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, so we have one waffle brownie that stuck to the top but that's okay we can still get it out yeah we can still get it out yeah well, okay. at least we can say we have some yeah <laughs> we have three left and at least be grateful that we have some uh-huh three uncooked but one right. brownie topping yeah. for ice cream yeah. Okay, well, she made another batch. Yay! We're all happy. Like the fourth one on that second turn turned out to be a big, big accident. We have sprinkles. And Reese's Pieces. pieces. That he smashed up. How about the, um, how about that? What long thing? This, the, re yes. uh, the Reese's cup. I didn't feel like chopping them up, but some people might want to use yeah. Reese's peanut butter cups. We don't have to because we have Reese's pieces. I like Reese's cups. Well, at least that's okay. Thankful. That's not what we're using right now. Can I use it to decorate? I'm using. It's All right, let's look. Whoa! Whoa. This one came out so much better. It came out. Smells good too. It really does. Mm -hmm. But the other okay, one, let's take it out. Ooh. Well, how about let's unplug the waffle iron? I will. Okay, looks like someone else did it. Thank you, handy helper. Okay. It's now the super duper handy Mandy ice cream machine. That's not came with these two tools. I actually got it from Christmas. All right, so while we're waiting on the brownies to cool, we're gonna go ahead and mix up the vanilla ice cream. Cool thing about this ice cream maker is that it comes with the recipe book. So I'm just using the recipe for the vanilla ice cream. It calls for one cup of whole milk, two cups of cream, 
We have our sugar, two thirds of a cup. One fourth a teaspoon fine salt. Okay. okay. That's vanilla. You're right, this is vanilla. How'd you know? Because you told me. Vanilla extract. Yes, vanilla extract. This calls for one tablespoon. All right, go ahead, you can pour that in there. And last but not least, you wouldn't think it will make much of a difference, but it does. Now this is completely optional, you can put that in the sink. But like I said, it really does make a difference. The vanilla bean. We have a vanilla bean, a very expensive vanilla bean. It only comes with one. So, we split it down the middle. And watch, guys. Okay. I'm gonna open it up. You'll see stuff on the inside. I just want to make sure I get my eight dollars worth. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix it, mix out all of our ingredients. What does it say? Can you read this? What's step one? This side right here. Of the direction. Whisk, whisk milk and sugar in a large bowl until sugar is dissolved. dissolved. Well, we did this completely out, out of order. We just have everything and we're mixing it together. That's so you guys see the vanilla bean in here? Mm-hmm. The little black specks. Yeah. I see black dots. Yes, that's the vanilla. When we made ice cream like this. You do? Mm -hmm. What's the noise? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna stick this in the we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator for a little bit to let it chill. So this is what the ice cream maker actually looks like. And believe it or not, it makes really good ice cream. Yes. We've tried it before, it was amazing. After the ice cream, make sure that's chilled. We're just going to pour it in. Pour it on. Now we have some nice, smooth, creamy ice cream. Madison, do you want to get a plate down? A plate or a bowl? Um, not a bowl, but a little, a small plate. Now we're gonna start making our ice cream sandwiches. These are kind of thick, so let's cut them in half. Miracle. 
because it's fresh not frozen ice cream so if you want it to be a little bit firmer just make sure you stick it in the freezer after you make it because as you see our ice cream is already melting you want a bite all right to me one yes <laughs> you want a bite yeah let's see I mean, it's not bad. She took a whole big bite. You can tell we really like sweet. To me, the ice cream is the best part of this. So there you have it. Homemade ice cream sandwiches with brownie waffles and our homemade ice cream using this handy dandy chef and sweet spot ice cream maker. So if you're looking at getting an ice cream machine that the kids can use, then I think this would be the way. Let us know what you think about the video. Hopefully you try the recipe out and you enjoy it as much as the girls did. Did you guys enjoy making ice cream? Yeah. Okay, what was your favorite part? Subscribe to our channel and, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.